Twisted Hum, Auburn Throttle 3063 Cortina Music City Grove Auburn finished its up and down season with a spectacular performance. A record setting on Queen in the Music City Bowl. Jared Stidham threw for a career high 373 yards and 5 touchdowns in his final college game, and Auburn pounded 3063 14 on Friday. The Tigers, age 5, opened the season with a top 10 ranking before stumbling in Southeastern Conference play against unranked and ranked teams alike. The Tigers finished with their first place season victory since the 2015 Birmingham goal against Memphis and a whole bunch of records. Auburn scored the most points by an SEC team in a bowl, topping Alabama's 61-6 win over Syracuse in the Orange Bowl on January 1, 1953. The Tigers had a chance to match the most points ever in a bowl at 70, most recently by Army in the Armed Forces Bowl last week, but took a knee at the third week one after a replay review overturned a very late TV run by Joey Gates. We've had some ups and downs this year, Auburn coach Gus Nelson said, crediting his seniors for keeping the Tigers together. This was a big win for us. Stidham, a junior who already has the clear his intention to leave early for the NFL draft, got the Tigers off to a fast start, and they just poured it on from there. We just tried to make those explosive plays that we've needed all year, Stidham said. Auburn scored TDs on its first eight possessions. It tied the Music City Bowl records for most points and TDs set by West Virginia in 2000, with 5.36 left in the first half. By halftime, Auburn led 56-7 with the most points scored in any half in program history after holding the ball for only 11 minutes. It was the most points by one team in the half in any bowl. I mean, it was a thing of beauty to watch from the sideline to watch the guys make plays, Nelson said. When we make explosive plays and we play fast, we are pretty good things, and today it all came together. I really believe that will carry over to next season. Brody, 6 7, dropped three of its last four games in its second season under coach Jeff Brown. That one snowballed faster than most, Brown said. I've been part of games that were a bad outcome, but that one happened fast. Credit to them, they made their breaks. Every little thing that went wrong seemed like it could. We got behind the eight ball early. Auburn started the game with the ball and needed only 63 seconds to set the tone, with Stidham finally yard Harvey's winner for a 66-yard TD pass. Whitler also added a pair of short TD runs as Auburn led 28-7 at the end of the first quarter. The Tigers outgained Kirby 586 263 in total offense and had only one career that late in the third quarter. Kirby was intercepted twice and turned it over on downs twice. Auburn had it once all game. Joel Slayton set a goal record with TD catches of 74, 52, and 34 yards and finished with 160 yards receiving. Javelins Davis had a sack and an interception in the first quarter for Auburn, and Big Head Bryant returned an interception 20 yards for a 45 7 lead with 12 29 left in the first half. The takeaway, Brody, with defensive tackle Lorenzo Neal out after tearing an ACL in the regular season finale against Indiana, the Boilermakers had little answer for anything Auburn tried on offense. Auburn, it sure looks as if Madison made the right decision when he took back the play calling duties and handled his first three seasons at Auburn. Only five other teams have scored more in a bowl game, and the Tigers set a school record for total yards in a bowl. Playing the bowl, Stidham bucked the new trend of not playing in bowl games, and he very likely helped his draft stock with his performance. He was 13 of 18 for 335 yards and 4 TDs at halftime and nearly had a TD run only to be ruled just short. Stidham said he had to play as a competitor. In my two short years here, I've grown so close to these guys I could never imagine not finishing the season with them, Stidham said. Up next, Burdu. Brum has a lot to replace with a senior class of 29 counting walk-ons. The departing Boilermakers include quarterback David Blau and top running backs in DJ Knox and Markle Jones. Auburn, the search for Stidham's replacement began with sophomore Malik Willis getting the first look once Mousen finally pulled his starting quarterback with 133 left. Gatewood also played late.
Thanks for watching like share and subscribe to 1010 channel.